a little cloudy this morning, but otherwise, it's gonna be a good day for racing bikes. Gotta set some tires up tubeless for a spare set. I was too lazy to do it yesterday. Okay, let's see if it'll set up with a floor pump. Boom, Astral Serpentines. Max's tires, that's the combo. That 3C compound is sticky. I might throw one of those on the rear for the rain day instead of running just the normal recon races. Food for thought. Looks pretty good. What's up, mister? I'm gonna go racing and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna see you, okay, mister? All right, already just waiting for a meal, per usual. So yesterday we did the whole registration thing, picked up numbers. This is what it's all about right here. Oh, that's hefty. Pretty snazzy, ain't it? Is that like 20 pounds? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty hefty. <laughs> Got the number one plate on the bike. Winner! Oh! Number one! Number one! Number one! Stoked about that. Yeah, stage one is the easiest of all the stages. It's 32 miles with like 3,000 feet of climbing, so you know, pretty standard 100 feet per mile-ish kind of thing. The easy part is that there's just a lot of gravel today, so it's pretty smooth and not super techy the majority of the time. There are little bits of single track we bump in and out of that are super techy, so you know, there's still a big chance of flatting today. Good warm-up stage. I can't see getting a ton of time on anybody today or anybody getting a ton of time on on me the winning time last year was 205 roughly 15 miles an hour so yeah it's pretty cooking for a mountain bike race and it's been pretty dry here so carson's here caleb swartz here some other people i don't know so yeah this is a good stage to kind of shake the legs out see how everybody's riding get a feel for some stuff if there's an opportunity to put some time in best believe i'm gonna take it Ready? Yeah. That was good timing. <laughs> yeah. Man, how come Gordon's on the back of the truck? Man, how'd you get your ugly mug on the back of the truck?
Good job, boy. Stage one, done. That was super fast. We had a group of five at the front for the first half, just pushing the pace. Dry trails, we were just ripping. In the second half, up to feed two, things came apart, and then I tacked into Old Burn, and things came apart again, so it was just Carson, Caleb, and myself, and I thought I could, thought I could surprise those guys with the rocks there, the, the climb up summit to Wildcat, but they held their own. And then Carson came around and pushed into the finish. I chose the wrong gear coming into that mulch stuff and just lost that front wheel and just couldn't come back around. Which is a huge bummer because Emily just came through in first. I'll just have to try tomorrow heading back to let the dogs out. This way. Come on. We gotta get out of here. How long do you think it takes us to ride over to Uh, less than five minutes. Are you in turbo? Yeah. See you, Mom! <laughs> Man, you're just spreading yourself thin. Video, everybody wants you on the podium. Come buddy. So that's it, the end of day one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, we're two first place losers. There's this whole conundrum with the enduro time bonuses. So if you get first in the enduro, you get a one minute time bonus. Second is a 40 second time bonus and third is a 20 second time bonus. So for me, Caleb and Carson, that's like the difference of if I roll through first, Carson gives me two seconds lead time and then he closes it down at the finish to one second lead time and he wins the enduro, he gets a one minute time bonus. That adds like this little layer of complexity into this whole, this whole thing. For Emily, Emily won the stage today, but got third in the enduro. So she got second on the stage. Taylor won the enduro. Because Taylor won the but enduro. But got second in the stage. But got second in the stage. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to think, I don't have to Think about that for a bit tomorrow. Sure me. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Tomorrow is, in my opinion, the queen stage, wouldn't you say? It's the biggest stage time-wise. Oh, really? Three hours, just under three hours for me last year. So. Passing the queen stage. It's not the longest. It just seems so early to be a clean stage when it's only the second day. Kind of a big day tomorrow. Things are probably gonna shake up a bit. See you then.